Let's take a look at some variations we could do with Blue Goose. So rather than playing the um, melody that's up there, let's play it down here. So I start with the third string open, bum bitty, and then I'm going to do a bum bitty here on the second string open, but my D, my thumb, is going to run down and grab the third string, that little drop thumb. Then from there, third string second fret, open, fourth string second fret. So that's two, open, four string two. Stay on that four string, two, open, back to the second string, open, third string open. And then, it's a pull off on the third string, second fret to open. Bitty, stay on that third string. I'll just play through that really slow. Another option much the same thing except instead of I was starting with this open third string and then I slide from two to four and then I pull off and then everything else is the same So that's an alternative to the A part, just playing it down low instead of up high. You're already sort of down low for the B part, so um, we'll just kind of leave that alone. But some things we could do besides playing the melody high and low is we could play some cool harmony parts. So if the, if the A part goes... So there, what I'm doing is I'm playing the second string open, first string open, and then that pull that hand, or drop thumb right there. Right, so I'm gonna hit that first string. That thumb has to land on that first on the fifth string. But the second time, it's going to drop to the second string open. So right? And then I'm going to play second string first fret, open, and then the third string open, and then second, third. 4 string 2nd fret, 4 string open, and then a little pull off 2-0 on the 4th string, and open. So that sounds like this. 1, 2, ready, play.
take a look at the B part. So if that's the B part. We could play something more like Now I'm doing a few different variations to kind of work into back into the second B part also to work back into the A part again. So let me just run through all of that. So it's going to start with second string open, fourth string open. And then we have this. Okay, so here I'm doing a hammer, second string Open to 2nd string 1st fret, and then open, and my thumb is grabbing the 3rd string 2nd fret, and then my index is going to grab that 3rd string open, and then open on the 2nd. So it's... Practice that until you get it. And then we do the same thing, only with the C chord. So this is very similar to when we were doing the B part over the melody, right? So here we're going... Right, so this is the first half of the B part here or the first B, I guess you could say. So on that C chord, I'm playing second string, keeping that C chord down. Now I'm playing the fourth string on the second fret. And then I play this again. And then at the very end, I'm playing my third string second fret. So that whole B part sounds like this. All right, second B part. Slight variation right there at the beginning. I set myself up with that two at the end of the first B, so I can have that two down and slide up to four. Right, two to four slide. One and two and, and then I'm going to move to the fourth string open. Then second. Then this is the same. This is the same. This is pretty much the same until the very end. The very end, instead of going to the two, which set me up for the second B, now I'm just gonna go. So I'm gonna end with that four string open, which puts me back, ready to go back into the A part again. Whichever, whether, whether I want to go to the melody or the harmony. That's going to sound nice, and it's also a harmony to the melody. So let's play through that whole thing. One, two, 
harmony, go. That's it. Have fun.